Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena Chef from DigitalLena.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step, all right, on how to sell your crypto directly to your bank account, all right. So I'll be showing you how to add up your bank account details, and you know how to be able to sell, to move funds around, sell it directly to your bank account, and then if you want to become a merchant using this same platform where you can stand. To buy from other people and sell to them and we probably show you all of that in this video all right and the platform we'll be leveraging on is OKS exchange all right this is how the app look on the phone okay this is the app we're going to be leveraging on it is called OKS and it is a crypto trading exchange OKS is one of the best crypto trading exchanges out there okay that you can use you can trade sports you can trade matches you can trade features options just name them anything you want to achieve whether you want to just buy your crypto invest it and be earning um, returns on that you can get all of that with the OKS platform all right so it is a complete crypto trading exchange that you can use and the good thing is that currently they are in Nigeria and with the P2P um, trading option you can easily sell your crypto to your bank account directly all right I am making this video because of a request I got from a friend all right so to be able to do that you need an account with OKS if you don't have an account with the OKS um, exchange already I will leave a link in the video description where you can go download the, the, the app okay you download the app and you sign up and then when you sign up you are able to follow up these steps that I'm going to show you in this video so if you are new to this channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel and if you want to learn more on crypto trading and investing okay i do have weekly zoom calls all right i do have about three times a week where i have zoom calls with my followers and to be able to get the link to this zoom course link to join the telegram group will be in the video description and then you only stand a chance to have access to some of my premium features um, trading signal that I do post once in a while on that group okay so join the telegram group using the link in the description all right so to the business of the day how do you sell crypto directly to your bank account there are a lot of ways you can go about this all right but in order not to be scammed use the OKS exchange okay in order because if you transfer your funds to someone you don't know and expecting that the person will send the money to your bank account and at the end of the day they don't send it you'll be at the losing side okay so, but using OKS, you are sure that this funds will get to you. So once you log into your account, after you sign up, you get your account verified, you log into your account, it is assumed that you already have funds on your OKS account, okay? So all you just need to do is to come in here and click where it says buy crypto, all right? That is where we want to go and click. So I'll click on buy crypto, and when I click on buy crypto, we have this option, the express mode, the B2P mode, and then we have the others. So, if we want to use Express mode, it means that if I just click on the Express, okay, um, OKS okay, give us this interface where if you want to buy, for instance, I'm going to buy with Naira, so I can put in the amount I want to buy in Naira here, all right? Let's say I want to buy 5,000. Once I click on buy, automatically they will search for the next available buyer and pay me with that person. I go ahead and transfer the funds to the account number that they'll be given to me, and then the person, um, will not let OKS know that he or she has received the payment and they will release this USDT to my account, okay? But in this case, because you want to sell to your bank account, you want to come up here, instead of clicking on buy, okay, you want to come in here and click on sell, all right? Since you are selling to bank account, all right? So we'll go ahead and click on sell. And then when we click on sell, these are the crypto assets we can sell using the OKS. We can sell USDT to our bank account directly. We can sell Bitcoin to our bank account directly. We can sell Ethereum to our bank account directly. All right. So I always advise that you go with the USDT, okay, the USDT option. So that is the one you will always want to sell. Make sure that you have some USDT in your account. And what I can do is to come in here and type in the amount of USDT that I want to actually um, sell. Alright, so if I want to sell 500 USDT, I'll go ahead and type it there. If I want to sell 5,000, um, 10,000, 1,000, whatever number of USDT you want to send, you go ahead and type in there and then you just go ahead and click on sell. Alright, and automatically you'll be paired with somebody, the next available trader, 
and the person will forward the money to your account and once you receive the money you just come in and confirm that you have received the money and then your funds will be transferred from your account to that person's uh, um, OKS account as well all right so now before I leave this page and go back to the P2P option I just want to let you know the minimum you can actually start trading with the OKS all right so if I go ahead and click on max you see here that it says that the minimum sell amount is about um, 7 USDT, all right? This is not something that is common with other exchanges. So you can buy as low as 7 USDT, meaning that if you have 4K, I'm uh, sorry, you can sell as low as 7 USDT, meaning that if you want to sell crypto worth 3,000, I guess, um, 3,000 or 4,000 dollars, you can actually sell that and get money to your bank account all right so that is it with the express mode so if i come back again and click on the buy crypto option here yeah, this other one is to go with the p2p option okay so i'll go ahead and select the p2p option and when i select the p2p option instead of oks pairing me with the next available trader here i am going to search for the trader i want to buy from or i want to sell to okay since it is to sell to your bank account we'll go ahead and once again make sure that it sell option is the one that is selected so we'll go ahead and click on sell so once i click on sell i want to look at the trader this is the name of the trader and if you see this um view bash here okay attached to the person's name means that the person is a verified merchant with the oks exchange all right so and then the quantity this person has on his account is this and the limit this person is ready to buy is from 700k to about 40 million all right so these are one uh, this is one of the things you want to pay attention to because it means that to buy from this person you must be buying anything from 700k and above all right so if you don't want that person you can actually scroll down this person is from 300k up to 40 million this is from 20k up to 700,000. all right so if you want to buy within this range you can buy from this person this is from um, 20k to 1.5 all right so you can just scroll down here until you see a trader that Missed up what you want to buy. Okay, I'm seeing from 10k upward, uh, 10k upward. Okay, from 1k, somebody is very ready to sell from 1k. All right, CKC is ready to sell from 1,000 to about uh, 1 million naira. All right. So, and um, if I want to sell to this person, okay. So if I want to sell to KC. I can just go ahead and click on this sell. This is how much we'll be selling one USDT to this person. One USDT will co cost this person 582 Naira, um, 39 Kobo. All right, that is what we're going to be selling, meaning that if I'm selling, whatever I'm selling will be calculated by 582. So I'll go ahead and sell to this person. I'll click to sell. All right, so by default, your USDT will be in your funding wallet. And once, once it is in your funding wallet, you will see it. Um, you see the balance here so you can just go ahead and click on this ball to sell all or you just type in the amount of usd you want to sell okay so um i can just go ahead and just type in let's say we want to sell about uh, 100 usdt so 100 usdt if we are selling we are going to be receiving about 558 000 naira to our bank account directly all right so once you click that once you have enough for that you just go ahead and click on sell and then the trader will be notified by OKS and then when they make payment you just confirm from your own end that you have received payment and once that payment is received you your the, the funds you have the hundred years that you want to sell will be transferred to this buyer all right but before you can do all of this you need to first add in your account details okay your bank account details into the exchange all right so um, make sure that whenever you verify your OKS account, the account name you have there is the same thing you have on your bank account. All right. So what we want to do is, so once, what, what we want to do before you can actually start selling is to click on this dot on the P2P page. Yeah, just click on this three dot at the top here. Okay. Um, if you don't have that, maybe when you try to initiate the selling, you'll be asked to add your account. But you can do that before you initiate the selling. So if you click on these three dots here. You see here where it says um, you have orders, you have ads, you have where it says manage receiving account. Okay, this is where you are going to add your your payment method. All right, in your own case, it may not be manage receiving account; it will be add payment method. So whatever you see there, whether it is add payment method or manage receiving 
can just go ahead and click on it okay so once you click on it already i have my bank account added here which is uh, um, uba okay and you can add more than one account details here right so if i want to add a receiving account i'll just go ahead and and click here to add if i want to modify this one i'll go ahead and click on this arrow to modify it right so to be able to add a new account method um bank account details to receive payment i'll just go ahead and click on add receiving account all right so when i add, i click on add receiving account these are all the payment methods you can you can add up okay these are all the banks you see all the banks available here yeah, standard united bank union bank first bank first city moment bank um we have uh, fidelity access bank women bank you can whatever bank all the popular banks that you can think of eco bank and the rest all of them are all here all right so for instance let's say i want to add up eco bank details or i want to add um which other bank would like add up here let's say i want to add a zenith bank account details okay so by default the name cannot be typed so the name will be there by default right so the name will be there by default you just go ahead and add the account number all right and then add your phone number it is optional actually add your phone number and then send sms code okay so you just send to verify that that, that is your code once you input it you go ahead and click on save and that account details will be added to your account and it will be reflecting here all right so whenever you click on sell okay so once you come in here to click on um, sell, let's say you want to sell to this person and after inputting the amount and you click on sell, the account number the person will be seeing will be one of these account number you just added to your account, okay? So the person will see that and make the transfer to that bank and once they make the transfer to that bank, it is now left to you to confirm those transactions and then your funds will automatically be transferred to the person's account, all right? So that is how simple it is to actually sell any crypto asset you want to sell directly to your bank account without any troubles, all right? So if there is anything you are stuck with, you can always use the comment section. And as I said earlier, on the Telegram group, you probably have um, that, that option of asking your questions and you get answers from people there as well. So that is all I have for you in this video and I will see you guys in the next video.